American Horror Stories Season 3 is back with all new different stories and I'm actually excited for this season. Last season did not disappoint and I'm going to be reviewing episode 1 through 4 and this video will contain spoilers so if you haven't seen it do not watch this video. So episode 1 called Beastie, uh, this one is about a teenage girl named Shelby that moves into a new house with her father and she watches videos of a gothic drag queen named Anna who tells her followers to face their fears. Shelby recently lost her mother, a well regarded teenager to cancer and the move she is designed to be a fresh start for both her and her father. Shelby character is very shy and has a lot of anger in her and especially when she threw that book at one of the students that was bullying her. I was very surprised at that one too. <laughs> While she was watching Anna, she meets a girl online in BC and she influenced Shelby to do bad things which is facing her fears. So Shelby is excited that she has a friend. She do things to hurt people which is her father and music teacher but there is no way in hell that I would have injured myself okay I would not broke my damn hand because there's no way that I would have somebody to influence me to do that I would have stayed my ass right in that basement but Shelby she realized that she messed up as she should and it opened her eyes and realized that her BFF is very toxic. So Shelby then meets a boy from her music class and he signs a cast and tells her that he knows that she's been the person that has been doing some damaging things especially into her classmates that was bullying her. So we're gonna fast forward to when they become very close and she trusts him and it was very obvious that he was suspicious and I knew for a fact that he was going to hurt her which he did because of the BFF. He also knew BC as well and he was influenced by her. So I thought in the beginning of this episode it was good but towards the end it was a little bit of letdown because it kind of dragged and I would expect it to be short and sweet as far as any type of revenge or whatnot. I mean, even though Shelby BFF did get the revenge, but I just felt like it should have been a different type of way. Um, I will rate this episode a 6 out of a 10. So let's talk about episode 2, Daffy. This one follows a wealthy art dealer who is gifted a smart assistant device prototype from a friend who seemingly grows infatuated with him. This episode reminds me of the short film called Whisper and I'm just going to be honest I wasn't really feeling this episode because this was very self-explanatory and very redundant. The entire story was very obvious and boring because we've seen this before and I'm not talking about in American Horror Story or Stories, but other films or other TV series, this had happened before where someone purchased a device, for example, like Amazon Alexa, and then all of a sudden they wanted to harm the person or whatnot. So I just wasn't feeling it. And then they're trying to mix it with the pandemic as well, which I wasn't too fond of as well. So I'm just going to give this a three out of a 10. So next episode was episode three called Tape Room. This one follows an aspiring model, put her health in risk and fame and land a Vogue cover with terrifying visuals and a brilliant performance from Vivian that is played by Lore. The story dives into pure horror as the young woman that loses control of her sanity and also features a cameo from Lisa Renna as a model agent. But how far would you go to be that skinny? Would you try the tapeworm? To be honest, I wouldn't try it. But I hear real life stories about that a long time ago when people want to lose weight fast, they eat a tapeworm. I, I would not understand it, but I wouldn't do it. So the artists are required to maintain a certain body standard, which not only deteriorate their physical, but also their mental and emotional health. One can argue that no one focused them to push them boundaries, but we have set certain preconceived notions and if an artist fails to follow those standards, then they will soon be out of work and out of the limelight. So to protect their dreams and their careers, they convince themselves to take extreme measures to look pretty, 
thin and perfect. And you can see the stages of Vivian getting thinner and thinner. Her character transfer into anger. And Vivian sees the doctor, the one that gives her the tapeworm, and she wants it out of her. So the doctor gave her some medicine to get it out, which I thought that was just crazy towards the end. I thought this episode was pretty good. Um, I thought that the performance was good and I love the set and design and even though it was a little bit kind of redundant or whatnot because we heard this story before I was still amazed how good Vivian performance was and I was a little bit off the edge of my seat so I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10 as well alright so this last episode 4 called Oregon this episode which began about a rich man named Toby that's being mysteriously robbed for an organ while on a hot date. And he meets this woman named Natessa. And Natessa is someone Toby meets on Pincher and we know why he likes her. She plays to his hunter sensibility and is not put off at all when he uses the word mate ability. Also, she says that she's like healthy men. Toby de definitely did not work out, okay? But hearing her say that boosted his ego. And he takes her home, but he is in for a surprise since Natessa knocks him down. And when he wakes up the next morning, he finds that he's been cut and stitched up. When Toby goes to the hospital, he is told that one of his kidneys was stolen and something else was placed in that that connected to his arteries so the doctor don't know what it is but they are investigating and it's especially concerning since that thing inside of him is gradually growing becoming a part of him the police tell toby that there was no evidence of the woman and that this is not a traditional work of an organ traffic ring that means that every lead is a dead end it feels like this episode was a little bit shorter than the rest of the episodes and I thought that was okay because I'm glad that it was a shorter episode because to be honest with you it felt like it wanted to drag but I do feel like this episode gave a little bit of tells of a crip a little bit essence um I don't know why but I felt like it kind of does with I'm not talking about the setting design but the story itself but the end of the episode was a little bit good um i would not say that it was the best or whatnot but i would give this rating a definitely a six out of ten as well so i don't know there is any more episodes of american horror stories um i think this was just only a special halloween special if there is another episode i would definitely review it for you guys but overall american horror stories was okay was it better than last year absolutely not okay I just felt like it could have been a little bit more something different something original out of the ordinary i think beastie is one of my favorites out of the episodes that i watch and even though i liked episode three it was still kind of like eh, like okay you know it's the same old same old or whatnot i think the writers need to be better i'm just going to be honest I think it needs to be something outside the box, something that is going to surprise us. And this does not surprise us at all. I just felt like I already knew what was going to happen. You can tell because the camera was focused on certain individuals. And it's just like, really? Like, uh, I don't know. But let me know what you guys think of episode one through four if you loved it if you hate it if you thought it was boring i would love to hear you guys thoughts about this okay so if you want to check out other tv show reviews that i recently just did make sure you check those out over here thank you so much for watching my channel make sure you like and subscribe and until then see you later